Welcome to My Tax Prep Office. In this video, we will cover setting up My Tax Portal. In the left side menu, locate and select My Tax Portal. Click Settings. On the Introduction tab, we see instructions on how to use My Tax Portal. This information explains setup, the client list, and viewing requests. Click on the General tab to start setting up My Tax Portal. The information entered on this tab will be customer facing. At the top, click the photo box to upload your company logo. You can also add or edit your company name. Finally, a new feature to our portal this year, you have the option to create a personalized link to your company's My Tax Portal login page, giving new taxpayers a way to self-register and current taxpayers easy access to their tax information. If you have not already completed this process, there will be a blue field here where you can enter your unique identifier for My Tax Portal. This will be the first portion of the actual My Tax Portal website address. Please allow up to 48 hours for approval. Once completed, you will receive an email and see a change in status here in the My Tax Portal settings. You can begin sharing this link immediately. Now, click on the Invitation Emails tab. For your existing taxpayers, you will want to send an invitation request from My Tax Portal to each separate tax year. We provide a default email template for you. You can edit, preview, or delete this template at any time. You can also click the Add button to create a template of your own. Fill in with your desired information and click Save. The email template can be used when creating an invitation request for returning taxpayers to join My Tax Portal. Next is your letterhead. Your letterhead displays your company details. We offer a default letterhead that you can edit at any time. The last tab at the top is the Organizers tab. This screen displays a list of existing organizers. An organizer is a set of questions specific to the taxpayer's tax returns. When the invitation request is created, the system will automatically select the default organizer, but you can change that selection if needed. If you have custom organizers in a previous tax year, click the Performa button to use the same organizer in the current tax year. You can also click Add to create a new organizer. Please note it is recommended to use the default organizer. Click Edit to customize the default organizer. At the top is a unique descriptive name that can be identified out of a list. Then details such as description and return type. The engagement letter display is a default letter for the taxpayer to accept. You can edit the engagement letter as you see fit. Below the engagement letter are the questions for the organizer. There are two types of questions, predefined and other. The answers entered in the predefined questions can be imported into the tax return. There is a list of predefined questions. Use the drop down list to select the appropriate question. If the question that is not available in the list needs to be added, select Other. Enter the question text and select how the client is supposed to answer using the check boxes below. Below the questions is the document section. Here you can give the taxpayer a path to upload different types of documents into the portal. You can add questions or documents, move them around, or delete them at any time by using the icon to the right of each question. When you have finished making changes, click the Save button at the bottom right of the page. This completes the review for settings in My Tax Portal. Thank you for watching.